I'm Henry Schumann, and this is a day in my life with the build up to Tokyo 2020 Olympics. Looking back at the 2016 Rio Olympics, it's uh, really got a special memory in my heart. You know, it's my first Olympics. Um, you know, that year leading up to the Games, I had some incredible training. Um, some of the best of my life at that point in time. Just hitting personal best times in running, in the cycling, in the swimming. And I was in the best shape of my life. So I was ready for, you know, the race of my life. And um, yeah, I was really looking forward to it. Uh, I got to Rio, I got there very early and um, about two weeks early and one week away from the big day, I ended up getting very sick and uh, it got into my chest and I had flu and you know, when you're an athlete and you prepare your whole life for this one moment, um, you just see it slip out of your hands and there's nothing you can really do. So I, I focus 100% on trying to get 100% better uh, just to try and be able to race. Because um, obviously you, you want to look after your body and if you're having fever and temperatures, you don't want to put your body at risk. Uh, I'm still a young athlete and I still want to have future in the sport. So, you know, you're thinking about these things, but you also want to get onto that start line. And it was the day before the race, I had a checkup with my doctor and everything was looking good. Like I had no fever. Um, I was feeling a lot better, I was feeling more alive and uh, he told me, you know, I, he gave me the go-ahead to go and race and you know, that was just when my excitement levels were just like through the roof and I was just super excited just to be on the start line and you know, compete for my country, um, put all that training that I've done over the years, um, lay it out on the course the next day and um, yeah, when I got onto that start line, during the week um, leading up to the race, I, I didn't get intimidated by the other athletes because there were a lot of tactics being spoken, there were a lot of um, things being said on social media when I was just focusing on trying to get better and healthy and just be on the start line. So I was very relaxed um, and I think that's what really helped me, you know, mentally prepare for the race. So I just went out there, you know, gave it whatever I had. Um, I was a little bit sluggish because I didn't have the ideal um, pulled up in the days leading up, but um, you know, I had a very good swim once again. I was up there in the front, but I had a terrible transition too. I struggled for 10 seconds trying to get my helmet on. A lot of the guys just passed me that were behind me in the swim, and uh, I had to red line it on a bike for at least um, two to five k's. And uh, with a tough course in Rio, with a very steep hill and uh, technical descent, um, it was all about. Uh, he was in that lead, lead group on top of the hill and I had to pass a lot of guys up that hill and yeah I mean I think the, the hyperbox I was racing on at that time really helped me it was uh, super responsive on a steep climb and then through the descent it was, um, it was just responding really well and sticking in those corners so um, that helped me get to that lead group and I was the last one to latch on so in a way I was really lucky um, you know blessed with uh, such an awesome bike and um, and, and you know the, the skills that I have and you know once I got into that lead group I was um, I was trying to be tactical so I knew I wasn't feeling 100% so I would take a turn but you know it would be like half a turn and you know just show my support in the front group that I'm helping to keep this away uh, keep the faster runners um, you know behind us and not with us and uh, we hit the run and you know I had like some jelly jelly legs but you know it took a K or two just to get that uh, that feeling back in the leg and you know I was running in sixth then I was running in fifth and then after one one lap two and a half Ks I found myself uh, challenging for the third spot with Vincent Bluey and that was just an incredible feeling I, I remember passing him and getting goose goosebumps on my, on my spine because <laughs> It was just such a special moment. I'm running in the Olympic game and I'm running into a third spot feeling confident. But, you know, I had to just stay calm and um, just think about, I've got seven and a half Ks still to run. It's hot in Rio. Um, I wasn't feeling great. 
So you know, anything can happen in the last few Ks. And I focus on just getting to that finish line and you know, giving 100% and more. Um, that last 50 meters, still in third place, I knew that you know, this medal is mine. And that's when the emotions just hit me and I was super pumped and um, I was just so excited. It was just the most amazing memory of uh, my career so far. So my biggest rivals at the Olympics, um, obviously with the Brownies, you know, double Olympic gold for Alistair and two Olympic medals for Johnny, you can never count them out. So they're, they're always going to be there. They come around at the right time. Um, but I feel with Javier, you know, performing this year and he's keen to come back to the Olympics after his bad luck at the, the last Olympics, he's going to be one to look out for. Runners like Mario Mola, Vincent Lee, um, also guys to look out for. And also some youngsters that are coming through the through the ranks, like uh, Hayden Wild from New Zealand and Hele Geens from Belgium. But you can never really count anyone out. And you know, Olympic Games are so special for everyone that uh, anyone can have a breakthrough, just like what I did um, four years ago. So next year is uh, the Tokyo 2020 Olympics, and that's going to be the biggest goal of the year. With the Olympics, I mean, the biggest goal is to, to go there and represent my country. Um, that's, I think, is just by that is an amazing achievement. And um, obviously, I want to try and improve on my Rio medal in 2016. Um, I want to obviously be on the top step. I want to take that gold. I want to be the champion. Um, I believe I'm peaking at the right time in, in the sport. And Olympics only comes around every four years, so I'm going to make the most of it and I'm going to prepare the best that I can. I'm playing around with some ideas this year and uh, to see what will work the best. It's going to be a very hot Olympic Games and I think preparation is going to be one of the biggest keys uh, to make sure that you adjust to that heat. Um, the course is going to be quite technical so you need to um, be good on the bike and it's going to take some endurance to to get through that heat and win the race. Um, so there's a lot of things that are going to come together that um, that are going to determine that outcome and uh, I'm going to make sure that I prepare 100% for that. The course in Japan I think will suit me really well. Um, first of all it's going to be really hot which is something I think I have an advantage over the other athletes. I'm quite small, I'm thin, um, I handle the heats a lot better and also the tactics that go on in the Olympic Games is normally for the, for the faster swimmers there tends to be a breakaway and if you're not up there in the front of the swim uh, you can lose your chance of a medal so you always want to be in the front of the the race from the beginning you're going to lose your chance of, of meddling so um, I think it, it's going to be beneficial to me I just have to make sure that I adapt to the heat the way I need to um, and with a smaller frame like my body I think I have very good shots at that. In the Tokyo 2020 Olympics I'm going to be racing on the latest race box from Swift Carbon I'm really excited to, to ride this bike and um, really see how it feels. Um, I've heard very good things about it and it looks really good. So um, um, I've, I've heard that the carbon layout in the front is super stiff and precise. And at the back, it's uh, more compliant for the rougher roads. And with the very technical course that, uh, that the Olympics is going to have, I think it's just going to be super ideal to race on that. And for me to hit the run more comfortable and with a better advantage of the, the other athletes, I think that's going to be key. I'm Henry Skuman, professional triathlete from South Africa, and I compete on the World Triathlon Circuit. 2016 Olympic Games bronze medalist and 2018 Commonwealth Games champion.
continuar a gravar. <risos>